Good morning and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Nemo Style Yoga. My name is Amen. Today I'm filming to you from the beach. I'm currently in Townsville, the capital of North Queensland, Australia. It's very tropical here. There's some palm trees. Oh, not behind me, but the other direction there's some palm trees. I'm on the beach. It's about 8 a.m. right now and it's already pretty hot, 25 degrees. The water is really calm. There's a nice island just here behind me. And I thought I'll film to you guys from the beach because the beach is my favorite place to be and I spend most of my time here, but I have yet to film a video on the beach. So I thought why not? I took my mat on the beach. The video might not be so straight, but that's what you get when you're filming on the beach. It's not perfect. Um, this morning I woke up and I was feeling a bit sore and, and tight in my body. I've been living in my car for the past almost month now. I've been traveling around North Queensland, exploring some waterfalls, some swimming pools, seeing a lot of beautiful beaches. But sitting down in my car and driving a lot hasn't been easy on my body and especially on my back because of my bulging disc. And I thought today I'll give you a little something that could shake your body in the morning, release the tension, and just help you start your day on the right foot. So if you'd like to join me, please grab a mat, make yourself comfortable, and we can get started. So, you can find yourself in a comfortable seated position. We can place our hands on our knees. And if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. Taking a deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Again, we'll take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Letting the breath flow naturally, coming back to your body, in your thoughts, seeing how you feel, how your body feels. If you'd like to set an intention for today's practice, this could be a good time to do so. Taking a moment to think about it, taking a deep inhale in. And with the exhale, letting it go, releasing the intention out to the universe. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. We'll work our way from our head down to our toes. We'll start with some head circles, letting your head hang heavy as we draw it around, releasing the tension in the neck, releasing any tension you might have from last night's sleep. Taking your time. Seeing what feels good for you as you roll your head around. Slow and gentle. Inhale. And as we exhale, we twist our head to the opposite direction. Taking your time again in these head circles. Releasing the tension in the neck. Letting the head hang heavy. Inhale and exhale, releasing the head back to center. From here, we start to circle our shoulders. Hands are still on our knees. Shoulders come up and around. Trying to open up the chest. Pushing the chest up as you roll your shoulders back. Inhale and exhale, rolling the shoulders forward. Inhale and exhale, releasing back to center. From here, we'll place our right hand on the opposite knee, on the left knee, as our left arm comes up and over, stretching to the side, keeping your chest open, the shoulder back, palm facing down to the ground, taking a deep inhale and exhale. Releasing back to center as we switch sides. Left hand comes to the right knee. Right arm comes up and over. Palm facing down to the mat. Both sitting bones are on the ground. Inhale. 
and exhale, release back to center. From here, we'll go to our child's pose, untucking our feet, bringing feet together, knees wide apart, butt comes down to the heels, press down to the ground, your forehead can rest down on the mat, just letting your body go sink here in this pose. Forehead the 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 then going to the left, switching to the right elbow, We're opening up the chest, and now with the whole body, we can take it to one side, and the other side lifts up just a little bit. Three more here, shining, just opening up the side body, finding a little bit of movement in the child's pose. Inhale. behind our back, interlacing them, and really letting your shoulders fall heavy to the mat. Keep the heels, keep opening the hips, releasing the shoulders, really letting your body fall. Now the exhale, releasing the hands, taking the back forward to our child's pose. Inhale, we lift the left arm all the way up to the side and as we exhale, we thread the needle placing the side, putting the weight on the left shoulder, doing the opening here in the shoulder. Inhale, and exhale, release back to the center, taking a moment to the child's pose. All the way up and exhale, adding the needle, placing the weight on the right shoulder, feeling the stretch here, the shoulder opening up, inhale and exhale, coming back to our child's pose, inhale and exhale, we roll up, coming back to all fours, it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned. Finding a comfortable position for yourself. Before we go into a top cow, we're going to go side to side, trying to create a C shape with your back, with your spine. So, as I'm turning my hips to the left, my head is looking to the left, trying to look over the hips and vice versa. And maybe you can exaggerate this a little bit. So, turning the hips back and forward again. Hips come back almost to touch the heels and then come back forward. A few more times here. In your own time. Three more feels good for you. Inhale. One last time. And exhale. Coming back. Coffee pose, trying to get our chest down to the mat, 
your chin or your forehead can rest down on the mat, feeling the opening in the shoulder blades. If you like, you can stay still or you can rock from side to side, feeling the shoulder blades in the last opening up. Inhale. And as you exhale, we push our body forward, belly comes down to the mat. We're on our forearms, shoulders, back, chest, back, and can straight ahead. Taking a deep inhale. And exhale, lowering down the belly and the chest. Head comes down to the mat. Hands are beside the chest. Bending the left knee. We're going to leave our chest on the mat as we twist our left foot to the right. Maybe you'll hear a crack in your bathroom. This will just be a nice breath. If you're staying on the other side, bending the right knee, twisting to the right foot to the left side. And come back to center. Inhale. And exhale. We push our body up. Come to our child pose. This time, feet together, knees together. Cut down to the heels, chest to the knees. Your forehead can rest down on the back. And again, either still or find some movement, straighten from side to side. With your hips rolling from side to side and your forehead also giving yourself a little massage here in the forehead, opening up the hips. Inhale. And exhale, slowly walking our hands back up to our bodies, sitting up. On our heels, rolling the shoulders back, hands interlacing behind our backs, chest up high to the sky, taking a deep inhale in, and then exhale, we can release. From here, using your hands for support to come standing up as we come to the top of our mat in our mountain pose, feet hip width distance, shoulders back, chest up. Palms facing up, taking a deep inhale in, and exhale, hands come all the way up, lift up, and inhale, and exhale, palms come to the chest, other hands come to heart center, and we release the hands one more time, inhale, and exhale, hands come all the way up, high to the sky, looking up at our hands, and as we exhale, we lower our hands and we fold forward. Feet are hip with distance and your body is heavy here. Walking the dog, whatever feels good to do. Really trying to push your feet down to the mat. Inhale and exhale, coming back to a regular downward dog. Inhale, bending both knees, trying to lengthen the back. And exhale, straighten back out. Again, inhale, bending both knees, and exhale, straightening back out. Inhale, right leg comes all the way up, our hips stay square, and we'll pulse our right leg up just a few times. You can feel the stretch in the left leg, and the left hamstring. 
in here and it's releasing back down and six eyes in here, left leg up, hips are squared as we pulse our left leg up, feeling the stretch in the right hamstring and exhale release. We start to walk our hands slowly to the back of our mat towards our feet. Coming back to our forward fold, letting your body hang heavy here. Inhale. And on the exhale, opening up the feet just a bit wider than shoulder distance, turning them outwards. We drop our butt down to our yogi squat. Elbows pushing knees away, hands come to heart center. We lengthen the spine. Taking a deep inhale in and exhale. Hands come back in front of us. As we push our hips up high, letting our body hang heavy and the spine like a forward fold. Start to let our hands sway side to side, swaying on the mat. Small bend in the knees here to reach. Releasing the tension in the lower back. And coming back to center, feet turned outward and we drop our butt again into yogi squat. Elbows pushing knees away, hands come to heart center. We lengthen in the spine, taking a deep inhale in. And as we exhale, hands come behind us for support. And we come sitting down on our mat. We let the knees windmill from side to side so your feet stay in the same position. Just knees moving from side to side and hands behind you for support if needed. Up, inhale, and exhale. 
releasing that center, placing the right foot down on the ground. We'll do the same on the other side, taking the left foot, flexing it, placing it on top of the right knee. We pick up the right foot and we start to twist from side to side. First the left knee falls to the left, the right knee comes to the right. Again, times doing the hip soaking up, doing the little side on the lower back. And one last time, left knee to the left and right knee to the right. And we hold here, palms facing up. We take our right hand, trying to reach the left as we press the body and open up. Again, left right arm to the left, back in our body, and open up one last side, right arm to the left, back in our body, as we open up, inhale, and exhale, releasing back to the center, placing both the feet down on the mat, one last time, hugging the knees into the chest, and we would like to roll from side to side. And from here, rolling back and forth a few times until we come up to a comfortable seated position. Maybe it's sitting cross-legged or maybe it's sitting on your heels. For me, this is my pose for today. Putting your hands on your knees and gently walking your palms along your quads. Putting a little bit of pressure giving yourself a little massage here, a little bit of love. As we reach the end, arms come beside us, taking a deep inhale, hands come up, and as we exhale, thumbs come to chest, hands come to heart center. Again, inhale, hands come all the way up, and exhale, thumbs come to center, hands one last time, inhale, hands come all the way up, 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 stretching our body and letting go of the tension, exhale, as you send your hands to heart center, We're taking a moment here, checking in with yourself, seeing how you feel, how your body feels, remembering the intention you set for today. Taking an inhale and exhale, letting it go. And with this, we can end today's session. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me on this beautiful morning here. I hope you can take this practice with you to the rest of your day, wherever you are. And make sure to stay tuned for more content coming soon. Namaste and thank you.